Do you look at other men? How do you deal with lust as a married woman? <laughs> I read this one to Laura earlier and she said she didn't want to answer it, so I'll just answer it. <laughs> I'll just sip my coffee. <laughs> Hey guys, does this look familiar? Me here with Laura and we both have, we both have our Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I put a thing on my story saying that I was going to be filming a girl talk very soon and I just thought how much more fun it would be having two girls' opinions on things. So we're all gonna have some girl talk. Go make a coffee, go get a Starbucks if you want to feel like you're here with us. I don't look so familiar anymore. <clears throat> yeah. I'm a little bigger now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Laura might look a little bit different because <laughs> she is also pregnant. Yeah. She's 10 weeks ahead of me, which is pretty cool. And then we have one friend who was 10 weeks ahead of, of, me. of Laura. And then I have another friend who's 10 weeks behind me. So quite a few of these questions are going to be about pregnancy and birth because that is the chapter of life that we're both in right now. Yeah. So let's do the first question. What are you most scared of about giving birth and how do you plan on staying positive? I feel like for myself, I'm not necessarily really afraid of it. Like mm -hmm. I, I would not say I'm scared. But if I were to pick one thing that I'm like most afraid of is um, having like just so many complications or something mm -hmm. or anything going wrong and scary with the baby's health or something like that or if she got stuck or mm. if I have to go into C-section. But like I'm also mm -hmm. preparing my mind for that as well. So yeah. I know that it's quite possible. It happens to a lot of women. So not the end of the world but mm -hmm. that would be the scariest yeah. thing i think for me i'm not like we were talking about this before mm -hmm. i also like i don't feel very scared for birth i'm mostly nervous about postpartum i think like i have a lot more fears about postpartum than i do about birth but if i had to say something about birth i would say probably tearing Oh, yeah? Like, probably... I know there's, like, way worse things that can happen in birth yeah. than tearing. But, like, it's probably just the thing I think about the most is, like, I really don't want to have third-degree tears and, yeah. like, long-term pain. And I think it ties into the whole postpartum thing because I, mm. I think about postpartum all the time and, like, how... I don't know how difficult it's going to be. Like, having a newborn baby mm -hmm. your hormones are crazy your body's healing and then just having something like that happen to your body that makes postpartum even more difficult yeah third degree you know what third degree is right all the way but there's fourth degree so what's that no there's no fourth degree i just heard someone had fourth degree terror i'm googling this my friend had fourth degree terror she told me I'm not necessarily afraid of tearing because oh I think it's so common. Wait. First degree. Okay, we know what first oh, degree there. is. We know what second is. We know what third is. Fourth. Fourth degree vaginal tears are the most severe. They go through the... <gasps> oh, oh, hell you no! Go to the bathroom. You couldn't. You can't. Okay, that's new fear. Yeah. Unlocked. <laughs> New fear unlocked. <laughs> I yeah. don't want that. That is no, me insane. neither. Yeah. And the second part to that question was, how do you stay positive? You don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just knowing that so many people have already done it, mm -hmm. it's like you're gonna live. <laughs> and like you don't have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> like you're gonna have to do it. Like this baby is gonna have to come out somehow. Like. Like you're either going to do it positively or do it negatively. Either way, you're going to have to do it. Okay, this one was an advice one. So this girl wrote in and she said, How do I ask God if he's the one? Recently, I saw a guy at my church. I'm new to this church. And we didn't talk yet, but he immediately stood out from the crowd and I just noticed him. Since then, I've got this feeling that he may be the one. Additionally, I have also had the feeling that he often looks over to me. And then in brackets, she put, he's often on the stage because he plays in the church band. It doesn't sound like they've talked. N no. If you've talked and you know him, it's a different story. But it doesn't sound like you have and you're just kind of noticing him. 
and you think maybe he's noticing you. So it's just physical attraction at that point. She sounds like a romantic. Yeah, and I was like that too before getting married. I remember like just making eye contact and you're like, whoa. Wonder what they're thinking. Like, yeah. do they find me attractive? Are they like gonna come talk to me maybe later? Yeah. But the knowing if he's the one, <laughs> just like, from looking at each other, is kind of yeah. funny to me. It's rushing it really quick. I think this girl sounds really innocent mm-hmm. and really wholesome. Yeah, it sounds really cute. Because I remember being young. I mean, we're still young, but like I remember being really young and seeing a guy at church. And then, literally, he'd just be cute, and we'd make eye contact, like you said, and I'd be like, oh my gosh, (laughs) was this the moment that I'll tell my kids about? Like, the moment where, like, me and their father locked eyes, (laughs) and I knew. Like, and you, like, (laughs) romanticize in your head, but then you actually end up, like, getting to know the person, and you're like, we would not work. Like, (laughs) (laughs) yeah. pray to God, and then say, God, if this guy really is the one make a way for us to like cross yeah, paths and get that. to know each other yeah and then just release it and surrender it and yeah. move on and if you guys cross paths and get to talking and just naturally something happens where you get to know each other then we'll see where it goes yeah that's true we haven't done dating in a long time so it's i know, kind of like, <laughs> I know. what would i do i remember oh what i used to do but i wouldn't recommend that <laughs> Do you look at other men? How do you deal with lust as a married woman? I do sometimes look at other men. Do you? No. Oh, okay. Like, like, obviously you're going to look at other guys. Oh, like just look. Like normally. Like look, but not look. I'm not really like that. Like over-sexualizing people. I probably look at girls more than I look at guys. Yeah, but not I was like, thinking the same thing. I probably, and... I probably check out girls more and yes. be like, oh, she looks good. <laughs> yeah. It's weird because I'm like, such a emotionally driven person that I feel like if it was myself in this situation, I would think to myself, what am I emotionally lacking in my marriage mm-hmm. that's causing me to look elsewhere? Yeah, it would. I don't think it would be a physical thing. I think you just got to get to the root of it and find out why am I yeah. looking at other places? Like, why is my husband not enough for me? Why do yeah. I not feel fulfilled by my relationship? I think once you, like, figure that out, that's when you mm-hmm. you can talk to him about maybe something needs to change or talk to a mentor. Yeah. Oh, that's... That's, that's tough. That is really tough. I read this one to Laura earlier and she said she didn't want to answer it, so I'll just answer it. I'll just sip my coffee. (laughs) Sorry if this is TMI, but I've been wondering this for a while. Does it smell when you make love? And then in brackets they said LOL. (laughs) Um, It shouldn't. It should not smell. (laughs) Maybe if you get a little bit sweaty, it might (laughs) smell. Oh my gosh. But it shouldn't. Or if you don't clean up after. Yeah, if you don't clean up, it might smell. Um, But if you are both hygienic, in theory, it shouldn't smell. And if it does smell, there could be something going on with one of you, like an infection or something. And that is when you can talk to a medical (laughs) professional. (laughs) Ew. I'm going to let you answer this one. Oh. How do you let a guy know that you love him? In brackets, a Christian guy. Why would you say a, a Christian guy? I know. So it's probably do not. Do you tell them differently? <laughs> do you tell a Christian guy and a non-Christian guy differently? I godly love you. That's how you say it. <laughs> if it's some random guy, you probably shouldn't tell him you love him. <laughs> I think that's My solid. Honest advice. I think that's solid advice. Um, Don't. Because that might scare him. Yeah. You're not in a relationship and you're in love with some guy who might don't not tell be him. in love with you yeah don't tell him tell a friend <laughs> to get it off your chest <laughs> tell your mom <laughs> yeah <laughs> how to communicate to my future spouse that i want to wait until marriage do i do this in the talking stage or while we're officially only friends how do i start a, such a conversation officially only friends officially only friends what does that mean like, maybe just straight up, like, we're only friends. Like, we're actually only friends. 
Why would you tell them that if you're only friends? <laughs> I'm just, like, that's what confuses me. I think it's something you just say right off the bat. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to say. And if they aren't on the same page, bye. Yeah. Don't waste your time with someone who doesn't value the, the same. same morals. And I would say even if <laughs> they're like, oh, like, I'm totally fine not waiting, but because I respect you, I'll yeah. wait alongside you. Don't even, <laughs> don't even be with someone like that because I'll tell you what, being in a relationship where both of you have that conviction, it's already yeah. so freaking hard to wait until marriage. If it's not a personal conviction for both of you, like to your core, There's it's not yeah, going to happen. No. You're not going to be able to wait till marriage. Waiting till marriage is one of the hardest, most like disciplined, disciplined, <laughs> like dedicated thing mm -hmm. to your faith that you c could ever do like mm -hmm. it's one of the top things up there like yeah. it's not easy and so you both have to be like i really 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 want to wait for you to even have a chance mm -hmm. no, i totally agree set yeah. yourself up for success as totally. much as you can i think you should actually find someone who is even more strict than you. Mm. There's a lot of people that don't have those serious conversations right away. Yeah. And then you end up dating for like a few months or something, and then they come up, and then you have to break up. It's just like, yeah. ugh. Josh and I talked about everything right from the get-go. Like, we talked about waiting till marriage. We talked about kids. We talked about not just the fact that we were both Christians, but like, do we believe that women can speak in church? What mm. are our views on speaking in tongues? Like, we talked about very specific things, mm -hmm. and we saw eye to eye on everything yeah. before we even got into a relationship. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, that's really important. What are some false ideas people have about what sex is, and how has your marriage affected those ideas? Number one to huh. me that I think false idea is that it's everything. <laughs> Mm. is that it's it's the make or break of your relationship if it's not good they are not your person yeah that is so stupid yeah <laughs> because there's so much more that goes into yeah. your relationship like once you're married too and that's just a part of your life together yeah all the other stuff is so much more important yeah. and like I mean, it's, it is important, but... <laughs> like, it sounds cheesy, but, like, the most important thing in your relationship and in your marriage is love. Mm -hmm. Like, that is the most important thing. And sex is just a way, or should just be a way, of expressing that love. Yeah. Nothing more, nothing less. Like, it's just your way of expressing your love, and, like, it's something you only share with that person to show them that you're the most loyal to them out of everyone in your life mm -hmm. and they're your one person. We haven't married that long, but I've heard so many people talk about in their marriages, like you went through dry seasons where mm. we didn't have sex for whatever months or something and like it was just rough on us, but then you got better. And so it's like yeah. if you based your relationship on sex... Like, it's just not, you're not going to have a good relationship or you're not going to find that. It's yeah. impossible. This person said, will your period come back after you give birth? It should. <laughs> yes. I yeah. mean, if you watched my video about how I got pregnant with no period, like, yeah. maybe mine won't, but <laughs> <laughs> in theory, it should. Yeah, I don't really know like, when. I, I feel like it always comes at a different time for mm. most women. I think it, it does somehow depend on breastfeeding. We, uh, we should look into that. Yeah, I don't really want to know when I'll get it back. <laughs> I yeah. don't want it back. I mean, even if lucky. I looked into it, I still wouldn't know when I'm going to get it back because my periods are so mm -hmm. weird. What if they become regular after? I have thought about Who's that. Maybe? I was like, that would be crazy. All right, we're going to answer two more questions, but I just want to say also I got a ton of questions. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm having a mind, mind blank. You're making me out of breath. <laughs> so, <laughs> was I you? sounding out of breath? Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. Oh. Yeah. It is kind of hot in here. I know. <laughs> Does it air it out? Oh, oh that's yeah. nice. That's, that's way that's better. Really nice. That's probably all we're doing is we're like suffocating <sighs> ourselves in here. I know. All right, we're just going to answer two more questions. But I just wanted to say I got a ton of questions that were really good questions, but they weren't necessarily under the umbrella of like girl talk, like some questions <laughs> about me and Josh's baby name, um, 
like how we would raise our baby, things like that. And I think that would be really good for a separate video that I film with Josh. So if you sent in one of those kinds of questions and I haven't answered it, it's not because I think your question's bad. It's just because this is a girl talk video. What has been the best and worst part of pregnancy so far? Should we go by trimester? Because obviously I've only sure. done two trimesters. You've done three. And then we say like the best and worst of each. Sure. I feel like worst was exhaustion. Mm. Just because you feel so tired. And that was just the hardest thing. I felt like you got hit by a bus. And like yeah. why am I so tired all the time? Like it yeah mm -hmm. best was probably first ultrasound oh yeah like seeing the baby it was like whoa it that was yeah. just like the best that was almost one of the best highlights of my life oh so that yeah. was probably the best all right i kind of agree with both things that laura <laughs> said but i'll i'll give different answers so that it's different other than the exhaustion the worst thing was the nausea I didn't vomit or anything like that, but I was nauseous, like, I kid you not, 24-7. And that was just terrible. And you just know, like, oh, this is going to last, like, 13 weeks. Like, and there's nothing I can do about it. It's not like food poisoning where you just, like, vomit it all out and you're, like, bedridden <laughs> for a few days. Like, no, this is going to go on and on and on. No matter how much you vomit or anything it like nothing will make it go away and then the best part other than the ultrasound because i agree <laughs> that's pretty awesome yeah is probably telling people and like mm. seeing their reactions and just like the excitement of especially because it's our first baby yeah telling people like like yeah. we're pregnant for the first time i think the first is just more like we actually did it like yeah. it's like it actually worked it like, worked we, like we can do this that's so cool yeah yeah because you don't know before you yeah. try so you're like it's starting yeah yeah our family is starting yeah. yeah all right and then second trimester you can answer first i would say for me the worst part of the second trimester has probably been my tailbone i've had like a really sore tailbone at times especially when I sit down for long periods of time it was really rough especially on the flight back from New Zealand it was like mm. a 14 hour flight and then we also had a layover that got extended because our flight got delayed <laughs> and so just all that sitting it was so painful and then I would say the best part is feeling kicks mm. and just knowing that your baby's growing because the kicks get stronger and like the movements get stronger and then you start to be able to like pick out like what's what you're like i'm so learning cute. like that this is my baby doing this i yeah. would probably say kicks too but i'll say something different yeah. <laughs> okay if i were to pick something different maybe just like yeah growing a bump yeah like, like just like the cute bump it's cute when you're in your second trimester and yeah. it's not as like uncomfortable and that's just fun and then you get and when you get like new clothes that like complement yeah. it and fit it nice yeah that's fun and it just feels like you're pregnant worst second trimester i started getting the pelvic girdle pain mm. at like 19 weeks so that was like not early second trimester but yeah almost mid yeah second trimester but before that, I had nothing to complain about. Yeah. So that would be like the worst part of second trimester is starting to get that pain. And then I haven't had my third trimester, so yeah. I'm very curious to hear what you say. Third trimester. Best and worst. I still get so like excited to have kicks and stuff. And she gets hiccups all the time, which I love. <laughs> like, I think it's so cute. Things don't change too much in your third trimester, like for like new exciting things mm. it's more hard things go <laughs> i right. feel like so like i'm feeling way bigger heavier just doing things is so much harder just like feeling like i can't even like bend down without feeling like i have a brick in between my body <laughs> oh my gosh and putting on socks or shoes socks and rolling over in bed i feel like it's just like such a big weight mm -hmm. and i still have the pelvic girdle pain so it's like well, yeah. everything on top of it swelling all right and then this is the last question 
which is also a pregnancy one. What do kicks feel like? I feel... Okay, I go first. Yeah. Okay. I feel like <clears throat> kicks and movements, they can feel so different depending what position the baby's in and just exactly how they're moving. Like, my very first feeling I ever had, like my what people call the flutters, <laughs> was pretty early. It was at like 13 weeks. And it felt like, okay, this is the best way I can explain what it felt like. When you're underwater and you like cup your hand and then you like go and then you like swoosh the water past your arm and you can like feel the water rushing past your arm, but like underwater. That was the first feeling I felt. It felt like a swoosh. And then kind of felt like a little goldfish swimming around. Like I just feel like <laughs> inside and I'm like, oh my gosh, what the heck? I've never felt that before. The kicks, when they start, it feels like a very strong pulse, like a heartbeat that's like boom. Like sometimes I think it's when he curls up, it feels like a random part is just like tight and hard. And you're like, oh, I just feel like a weird, like, like basically imagine like a knot being like tightened mm -hmm. inside of your stomach. Yeah. But it doesn't hurt, but it just feels like a, oh, that's, Tightness. that's tight right there. That, those are my best ways of explaining it. <laughs> Do you relate to that or does it feel different to you? Mm, it's hard even for me to already remember like the first little movements because yeah. it, I'm so used to these like crazy ones now that well, I'm like... Well, explain the crazy ones because I haven't Ugh. had that yet. Like, I remember you saying about like when you were at work and then you have to like, you have to like push in in your side because she's like yeah, attacking it, your hip. It feels like, <laughs> well, it feels like there's a baby in you. It feels like there's this thing pushing so hard <laughs> And I can feel like yeah. when there's like, it's usually I feel like a foot or something because it's really mm -hmm. pointy and it's like a heel or maybe it's an elbow yeah. or something that's just like so pointy and I can tell she's stretching because I'll feel like one side of my belly going out this way and then the other this way. I'm like, why are you doing this? Like, oh my gosh. She does that a lot. She'll like just fully stretch. And then I, I'll push her back because it hurts. I just had this picture in my head of like her being here and then playing the audio of you explaining what she does inside of you. Oh. Like with a video of, of her, her doing, doing it, it in yeah. real life. Like you'll be able to see when she gets yeah. here. Like you'll be like, oh, so she stretches like that yeah. and then she like curls up. That oh, must be, be so what it was. I feel like also the w the weirdest part about feeling kicks and stuff is I'll like feel her foot or whatever and I can bounce it. Like <laughs> I, that is the weirdest thing ever. And like Levi gets weirded out <laughs> doing it. But I love doing it because I can tell it's a body that yeah, I'm like yeah. shaking. Like obviously I'm not like going crazy or something. Yeah. But I can just like bounce her like little leg. Like actually I could do it right now. Like you feel right here. And then if you, you can push with, like, oh, yeah, try to bounce it. Oh, yeah, it just disappeared. Yeah, it just disappeared. She probably moved. She's like, what the heck is that? All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching our girl talk video. We'd love to know your answers to some of these questions as well in the comments down below and for us to like read through your answers to some of these. And if you want us to do some more girl talk videos, then let us know as well because this is fun and this is basically what we do mm -hmm. anyways without the camera on yeah <laughs> all right see you guys in next week's video bye